Wow, I'm not gonna lie. Feels kind of uh kind of strange sitting in the passenger seat today. What's going on guys? Today I'm finally tackling a problem which I've had for so long now, just been lazy about it. If you have seen my video on the five must-have mods for your 370Z, I talked about the shift boot not being installed or not being held properly after I installed my uh, my Mishimoto shift knob. If you haven't seen that video, I'll post the link down below. Definitely check it out. If you own a 370Z or are looking to get a 370Z, that video has a lot of good information for you. But for now, I'm going to be finally fixing this shift boot problem. There's a couple of different ways you can fix this problem. One way is to get a aftermarket bezel or a shift boot retainer, which is probably the best way and the cleanest looking solution. But if you want to save some time and some money, I'm going to show you a quick fix today. Okay, so this is uh, just to clarify what problem I'm trying to solve here. So after I installed this shift knob right here, um, the OEM plastic ring, which is just underneath this uh, this portion here, it no longer fits properly with this uh, with this shift knob design. The the OEM shift knob, um, it's quite a different design. So now this boot is just sort of dangling. So of course this uh, this doesn't look the best, and um, I guess there's like a hole here. So you get dust and and you know stuff that just gets trapped in there. So in order to fix this. Um, I believe I have to take apart this entire plastic piece. It comes out. Um, and then basically bringing, bringing this boot as close as possible underneath inside. I'll show you guys um, exactly what I'm going to do. Um, and then zip tying it to, uh, again, as close as I can get to the bottom of this uh, bottom of this shift knob. The tools you need are pretty simple as well. I've got... Bunch of zip ties. I'm only going to need one, of course. Got a set of needle nose pliers, um, mainly just to just to cut the zip tie off. And got a small flathead screwdriver with a bit of tape on the end so I don't damage any of the plastic. So I'm going to be uh, basically using this to wedge off the plastic um, in order to pull it off. So I don't want to damage the trim. Um, if, you, if you're going to put metal on plastic, you're likely going to scratch or damage something so should do the trick this should be a pretty quick and easy fix let's get to it So there's also a electrical connection back here. And I think it's for actually the hazard lights. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and remove that as well. Shouldn't be too hard. There you go, this piece right here. So I'm just gonna rest that down here. Now, this was the OEM, I guess, retaining ring for the boot that I was talking about. And just trying to figure out how this is gonna go. I'm wondering if I if I should just remove this retaining ring altogether, or should I just sort of zip tie it right above it? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna keep this here. And I'm gonna attempt to zip tie it right above. I can kind of feel where the shift knob ends, it's right about here. I'm gonna zip tie the entire boot at this point, and I think it should do the trick.
Okay, this should be it. So I'm just gonna cut this guy off now. A little bit more. Okay. Let's see if that worked. It's going to attempt to reinstall it before plugging it back in. Let me do that. Let me just plug this guy back in and then see if it worked. Okay. What's that? There you go. Okay. Okay, so I think that did the trick. The only problem now is that my shift boot is actually ripped. So it still doesn't look the cleanest. Um, but you know what? For a quick and easy zip tie fix, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy. It's not moving anymore. It's not dangling like before. Getting a new shift boot with a proper retaining ring is the best solution. But for now, this will do just fine. It looks a lot better. It's not uh, it's not hanging off or dangling anymore. So this will definitely do the job until I end up getting a new shift boot and uh, a new uh, shift boot retainer. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. This was a nice, quick and easy fix for you guys. Hope this helps. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and... Uh, I'll see you in the next one.